main takeaways. One, I mean, that Christy Mewis goal, the, the one you just talked about, I, I, I literally, like, I got emotional calling the game because here's a, here's a player who had been in with the national team. Obviously, her younger sister, Sam Mewis, is now a star of the national team, and she finally gets another look. She gets another chance. She wins the title with Houston Dash in the NWSL earlier in the year. Um, and the two of them were playing side by side, which was great fun for a lot of fans to see as well. So that was uh, one of the highlights. I think um, the fact that you saw a team who this national team, as you said, hadn't played for 261 days. That's eight and a half months. They hadn't actually had a game. They had one training camp. All the European-based players missed that. So literally their first time together, and they looked good. I mean, it wasn't the cleanest I've ever seen them. It wasn't the sharpest we've ever seen them. But to play a Dutch team who, as you mentioned, play, they played in the final of the World Cup in 2019, a very good Dutch team, and to play as good as they did, at one point, it was 13 shots to the United States, zero to the Dutch, well into the second half. So it could have been four, could have been five. You got Alex Morgan back in the game. I mean, there was a lot of positives to take from that if you're the United States. Yeah, that was another big storyline, Julie, and it had been since that. World Cup final since we'd seen Alex Morgan last. Of course, to see her come on uh, must have been uh, a big bonus. Yeah, I mean, and this is a player, her last game, you know, you talk about the rest of the team being eight and a half months ago. She was 16 and a half months because, of course, she had her baby. She had actually, Charlie was seen in the stands there, her daughter who was born on May 7th. So she's been fighting back from getting back from pregnancy. She gets to Tottenham where she's been playing over in England, and she actually was fighting through a knee injury. So really limited minutes. She actually has a goal in this game that gets called back, unfortunately, because I think that would have been tremendous for her. But to have Alex Morgan back in the lineup, back getting some minutes, is another huge stride for the United States. Mm. Uh, Julie, just talk a little bit about the coach, Vlatko Andonovsky, because he's now 11-0 uh, and 0 since taking over at the helm. Uh, nobody's ever had as good a start as the, at, at, the, at the helm yeah. of the U.S. women's national team. Uh, are they getting stronger and stronger? They are. And if you can prove after eight and a half months off that you could still easily and handily beat one of the best teams in the world, I mean, I think it gives you an indication of just how good this U.S. team is and how good they're going to continue to be under his reign because he's a beloved coach from the NWSL days. He obviously coached in Kansas City, won a couple titles there. He coached then at Seattle. And it was the player's recommendation to come in as coach because they know how good he is. He's super detailed, very technical and tactical, and he's a player's manager. He has all the elements. So they love to play under him. He knows the game well. They're learning. They're growing. And, you know, and he's, he's full of an embarrassment of riches, as we always say with the United States team. Tons of depth, tons of players, and he's got a youth group that's coming in. You saw just a a sampling of that in today's game uh, that he'll also be looking at. And so when you think about that roster for the Olympics having to get cut down to 18 versus 23 for the World Cup, I mean, it's a good problem to have, but it's definitely going to be an issue for him to chop it down that low. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.